What's up, YouTube? Impromptu video in the midst of fixing my car, and uh, not done with that. But uh, leadership, I got a message that they're missing it, and God's going to retest them and keep testing them. They're either going to get it, or they're going to uh, their their time it will be expired, and then God will have to find somebody else. But if Mark ten Luke or Mark 10, Matthew 20, Luke 22 outline what I'm going to be talking about. And it's about leading. And Jesus, in all those chapters I just mentioned, he's trying to explain to the uh, disciples when they become leaders. It's, he tells them it's not going to be like the Gentiles lead. It's a matter of fact, it's exactly opposite of what they do and what they lead. And this Reformation move, the Corona thing is part of judgment, but it's just a mild judgment. But Reformation is repentance from false teachings, false doctrines, false apostles, false teachers, false prophets. It's a repentance, and it's 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 getting accurate, biblically accurate. And in line with the Holy Ghost. And that's what God is trying to do in this world presently. And he has got to get the ears of the leadership and wake them up to what he is saying. Okay? And I, I'm not, I watched a couple of videos. I, God spoke to me in a message from a, a teacher. And I was crying. And next, next thing I know, I'm making this video. i got to get out and work on my car. Finish it up. But uh, it's on my heart because I, I, I uh, you know, I watch these videos and uh, leaders that have been over me and they're still missing it. They're still missing what God is saying. But the essence of this short message is the if if God's going to trust you with His power. And you are the, the man, you're the pastor. Or you think you're the man, but you are the man in charge, you're the pastor. Somewhat, God can remove you in a, in a heartbeat, it doesn't matter to Him. But you're going to you're gonna reveal brokenness, you're going to be in the prayer room, you're going to be the example, because Christ is not a physical example to people anymore. You are, He's called you to be the bearer, and the leader, and again, look at all the chapters I mentioned. It's not in depth. The videos would be hours, and uh, but you have to demonstrate how to connect with the Holy Ghost. There's a brokenness that comes on because you can't come to God humbly or uh, proudly. There's a when people when many many leaders uh, preach, a lot of times. It's it's not under the power of the Holy Ghost. It's pride. And it's it oozes through control freaks. There are spirits in you. You can see it. You can feel it. You don't feel an ounce of God in the whole house, in that place, in those times. It's because they're not broken before God. You don't see no power demonstration. Now, I'm not saying this is a divine law. I'm just this is one aspect of this. There's many aspects in what I'm saying. I'm just trying to direct this small mighty thing so this little you can you know for for whatever reason their brains is not working. They're they're not reading the Bible or I don't know what they're doing. But uh and again that goes back to look at my Antichrist uh videos. That's this heir of the high priest. And he became Antichrist. Because he missed what God was doing. And that, air, that leadership, they're falling into the same trap as Satan. Satan laid the snare before the high priest. He was too proud to freaking humble himself before Christ. He didn't even know. He didn't know the scriptures. He didn't know nothing. And he murdered him. And three days later, Jesus resurrected. And ripped the veil in two. And said, the Jewish way the Old Testament is done 
and all the signs from heaven, the darkness at mid or noon when he was when he died, gave up the ghost about three p.m. or something, twelve p.m. But uh, twelve. Anyway, um, they, see, the flesh, your flesh, does not want to pray, does not want to want to be weak. And you will miss, if you were the pastor, you will miss the move of God because of that. Because you're stupid. You're stupid. Just say you're stupid. I just, okay? Lots of people are stupid. Hell is full of people that are, you know. Matthew 7. A few is going to heaven. I don't want to rant, but uh, I hope uh, this gets through to whoever God wants this to get through to. Uh, you will be... If you want God's power, you will be humble. Not the fake one, you know, not the one that you uh, humble self. No, God will humble you. God will humble you. If He's chosen you to reveal His power, He will humble you. You'll fight it, you'll fight it, in your flesh will fight it. But, you know, I'm going to keep making these videos because uh, this, you know, it. I gotta go fix my car. God bless. I hope I help somebody. But I'm trying to reiterate you are the example, Peter. He even said it. Examples to the flock. Don't lord over God's heritage, because God will have to kill you. <laughs> or get rid of you or put somebody else in there. And they keep doing it. But but examples to the flock. Read First Peter five. I believe it's right there. Okay. But uh, get the prayer rooms open. If hey, Corona, are they are you ever going to have crowds again? Well, if you listen to Kim Clement, no. There's going to be house churches born under this nightmare of messes. God's trying to wake people up so they don't have to go to hell. House churches, building churches. I don't know. They might be done. I don't know. Let's wait and see. I mean, they, like I said, it's a form of judgment. They ain't been listening yet. There's many Antichrist churches. They, I'm sorry to let the cat out the bag, but hey, if you knew what I knew, and I, and I incrementally reveal what I know, and I try to do it in a way not to hurt people. But you know what? Time is short, and I don't know if there's videos I made that I can't even release publicly. Because the, the, the sort of truth will destroy you if you're opposing it. And i got to be very careful with some of my stuff that I give. So I'm trying to do it in a good, loving way. Not to hurt people, but to correct, to reform. Okay? This is just part of my ministry. I'm doing what I'm called to do. Okay? God bless you. Don't kill the mailman. God bless you.